Hello everyone, my name is De Hong Liu. I'm from Mitsubishi Electric Research Labs. Here I'm going to present my paper titled A Graph-Based Method to Extract Broken Rotor Bar Fault Signature in Varying Speed Operation. This is a joint work with my summer intern Zhe Zhang from University of Connecticut. So here is the outline of my presentation. First, I will give a brief introduction on broken bar fault and the motor current signature analysis method. Then I will talk about dynamic model of induction machine with complex vector notation. After that, I will introduce our proposed graph-based MCSA fault signature extraction method. Finally, I will provide some results and conclusions. Broken rotor bar fault is one of the major faults in square cage induction machine. It can be caused by imperfections in the manufacturing process, direct online starting duty cycles, or pulsating mechanical loads. Once the bar is broken in square cage induction machine, it can cause poor performance such as vibration and torque fluctuation. Even worse, it may cause serious catastrophic failures. Motor current signature analysis as a non-invasive online monitoring technical has been widely used to diagnose faults in electrical machines. MCSA is based on spectral analysis of the state current. If there's a broken bar fault, the state current will exhibit some characteristic fault frequency components, which can be expressed using this equation. So as we can see, the fault frequency components is a function of the supply frequency. It's also related to the motor slip or motor speed. However, nowadays motors are often fed by inverters and running at a varying speed and a varying load to save energy. In this situation, the motor slip varies with motor speed, so does the fault friction component. Therefore, conventional fluid transform based MCSA methods have very limited success for invert fed motor fault detection. If the motor is running at a constant speed, then the fault friction component will be a constant in the friction domain. However, if the motor is running at a varying speed, then the fault friction component will spread out in a certain frequency range with relatively lower magnitude, making it more difficult to detect. To solve this problem, super-resolution spectral analysis such as compare sensing aims to achieve high frequency resolution using a very short time measurement, where the speed can be considered as a constant. However, this method may suffer from noisy measurements. In this paper, we proposed a graph-based method which assumes the speed is changing continuously. Using our proposed method, we can still effectively e extract the fault signature even under varying speed operation. Our proposed method is based on complex vector notation. For state variable on the state side, we have xA, xB, and xC. We can use this transformation to convert to a complex notation xS. For state variable on the rotor side, we have y1 to yn, for the n rotor bars or n phase rotor, 
we can use this equation to convert to a complex vector yr. In healthy condition, the dynamic model of induction machine can be illustrated using the following equations. The first one is the state voltage equation in complex vector notation. The second one is the road voltage equation in complex vector notation. The third one is electromagnetic torque with respect to the rotor position. And the fourth one is the mechanical equation. So given the state voltage and all the induction machine parameters, we can use in this dynamic model to simulate the state current, the torque, and the rotor speed. In faulty condition, the dynamic model of induction machine needs to be changed accordingly. So let's assume the ith rotor bar starts to break. So we define an increased rotor resistance such that the induced rotor voltage can be expressed using this equation. And accordingly, the state voltage, rotor voltage, and the torque equations would be adjusted as the following equations. To simulate the state current of the induction machine, we use MATLAB Simulink to build this model, where each block represents a function which can be described in the previous equations. And we use VF control to control the speed of the induction motor. To introduce our proposed graph-based MCSA fault signature extraction method, Let's assume we have achieved motor current by either experiments or simulations. For induction machine with broken rotor bar fault, the three-phase state current can be expressed using these equations, where I1 is the amplitude of the fundamental friction component, and I B and B is the amplitude of the fault friction component. Omega S is the fundamental frequency, and omega B and B is the fault frequency component. Once we have the three-phase state current, we can use complex vector notation to represent the state current using this equation. Then by applying the vector transformation, we can convert the fundamental component into a DC quantity, which is very easy to filter out. And then the fault signature is still an AC quantity comes to play. To extract fault signature, we first apply short-time Fourier transform on the converted state current, ISS. We then remove the DC component in the spectrum, which represents the power supply frequency after transformation, and then analyze the remaining spectrum for fault detection. If there's any broken bar fault in the induction machine, then there should exist a fault frequency component which changes from time to time. Following this idea, we formulate the fault detection problem as an optimization problem using this equation. Well, Y is the measured spectrum by short-time Fourier transform with DC removed, and X is the true fault component in the friction vein. So the data fidelity term means if we slowly change the friction component of XM, we can match the measured spectrum. And the spectrum of X should be sparse in the friction domain and should be smooth across the time window, as represented using a graph model. To solve this optimization problem, we first have 
an estimated graph shift matrix A bar, which can be estimated using the measured spectrum YM of the mth time window spectrum. Then we iteratively update omega m of the mth time window and x until convergence. So given x, omega can be updated using this equation, and given omega m, the x can be updated using the following two equations. So after convergence, finally we can output the fourth signature y m hat. Here I show some simulated time domain waveforms. So we consider a general case in which the motor is driven by a voltage source inverter whose operating frequency increases from 0 Hz to 60 Hz. And we have the torque, speed, and state current waveforms as shown in the figure. In this slide, we show some results using our proposed graph-based fault signature extraction method. The left column shows the short-time Fourier transform spectrum of healthy induction machine, faulty induction machine with varying speed and a constant load, faulty induction machine with varying speed and a varying load. The middle column shows the fault signature extraction using our proposed method. So for healthy induction machine, we cannot get a continuous change fault frequency component. Well, for fault induction machine, we can extract a continuous changing fault friction component. The same for the third one, when the induction machine is operating at a varying speed and a varying load, we can also extract a continuous changing fault friction component. The third column shows the theoretical friction component when there's a fault. So we can see that the fault signature extracted using our proposed method agree with the theoretical analysis very well. Here are our conclusions. We started broken rotor bar fault detection for the inverted fat square cage induction motor and the varying speed and the varying load conditions. We defined a fault signature using complex space vector notation. To extract the fault signature, we proposed a graph-based method by solving an optimization problem with constraint imposing smoothness and sparsity of the fault signature. Simulation results demonstrate that our proposed method can effectively extract fault signature and the varying speed and varying load operations. The newly reviewed fault signature detection method is applicable for both line-fed and invert-fed induction motor drives. Thank you. If you have any question, please feel free to contact me by my email.